An apparent murder-suicide sent shockwaves through North Alabama and Tennessee this week. An entire family lost in the tragedy. Madison County Sheriff's deputies found Jennifer Lepore dead in a home in Hazel Green Wednesday night. Her husband, Jamie, and two sons, Sean and Jesse, were nowhere to be found. Upon searching the Murfreesboro, police went to a house on Carson Lane and heard gunshots. Investigators say Jamie shot his sons before turning the weapon on him himself. Now News 19's Alexa Harley has more on the reaction from the community in Huntsville and in Tennessee. She joins us in the studio now. Alexa, what can you tell us? I'm told that Sean and Jesse were like any other young boys. They loved cars and were avid racers. They each had their own specialty and competed in races in Alabama and Tennessee, even winning some races. Nine-year-old Jesse participated in BMX racing and won multiple races, while 11-year-old Sean raced quarter midget and bandolero race cars. Sean competed in races at the Huntsville Quarter Midget Association, where news of his passing hit hard. Both boys raced on tracks in Huntsville and in Middle Tennessee. Tennessee native Lizzie Taylor knew the Lepore family, especially Sean well, and is shocked at the events that unfolded. It's just hard to expect that we have lost two young boys to a horrific event. The community will really miss those boys because they were a huge part of everybody's life. Vice President and Board Member of the Huntsville Quarter Midget Association, Jamie Hudson, shared a statement with News 19 saying in part, quote, Sean Lepore was an extremely competitive racer, but yet one of the most compassionate and well-behaved young drivers at the club. His smile was bright and infectious. He made his brother and mother and all of us extremely proud. The HQMA family will continue to grieve he and his brother and mother's earthly passing. We know he's leading the pack at a track somewhere in heaven. HQMA plans on remembering and solidifying the legacy of Sean, his brother and mother sometime in the coming months. We encourage you to hug your loved ones a little tighter and remember to race your hardest in this life, just like Sean did. Now, a GoFundMe has been started to cover funeral and any additional costs. You can find that on our website. That's WHNT.com.